be strong. What's up, J2R family? We're back again. I'm Johnny. I'm Jeremiah. And today we are checking out Louis Tomlinson, all of those voices. Is it all of those voices or all, all of those voices? Is it all of those voices? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this will be part eight. So make sure you check out the other seven parts if you haven't already. This is gonna be part eight. Uh, what do you think so far? Uh, I think this is actually really fucking cool. Uh, obviously, we're getting more into like the concerts and everything like that. I know, like in the last part that we were at too, uh, like his son was actually like in the crowd and everything. He was pointing at his son and everything, and he it was pretty cool. Like there was like a heart some mo like moment, like pretty much where he told his son he was like the whole entire time I was performing. All I can all I could do is just look at you yeah. the whole entire time. I thought that was really cool, and it was his first time uh, or his son's first time seeing him actually perform and everything. I thought that was really dope. Uh, but it's getting into like a, a lot more like better moments than like uh, the previous parts that we were at too. So I think that's really cool. But super excited to get back to the video. Yeah, so uh, I think we'll jump into it. All right, let's do it. Seeing someone say today, I think every day is the 50th. That's got to be cool performing in front of your home. Yeah. Like uh, in your hometown. <laughs> I haven't seen Louis since. 2015. 2015 so like <laughs> i was so excited to be married for him like and now this show as well it's going to be huge because it's his home show so very excited <laughs> this hometown so it's gonna be special i've been waiting 10 years for it so we've organized the queues we did all the wristbands um, and then you guys got it literally like right after yeah so four days yeah 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 is it four days yeah these four fans days. are crazy so three nights four days yeah yeah, yeah. i don't so feel this that that relationship four between days? an artist yeah. and a family they don't know how long they've been out there i like no other artists would do the things for us that louis does and make us feel as comfortable as he does we're a family it's not fans and an artist it's a family i like it's it's like not yeah, I look I feel cool. sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah about it being the last show we've been like suppressing that feeling so we've just been a bit drinking. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, Louis. Yeah. I fucking love you. How's it feel to be playing your hometown? <laughs> Unbelievable, mate. Yeah. Does it feel special? Old school, old school. <laughs> first two songs that I was out there it just felt so fucking special man. and I'm like I never had this luxury of playing Doncaster in the band there's not loads to do in Donny so I, I spent a lot of my youth here at the Dome I've played this gig either ice skating or fucking swimming or fucking whatever it is there was something really, really fucking lovely about tonight, man. He sound amazing, though. There are moments I like his jersey. It's like yeah. tonight where it just becomes much more literal and relevant, you know, the stuff that obviously we've been through as a family, like whatever. There was an element of it feeling, um, more profound than just a celebration. Fucking yes, Duncan, I could feel the crowd, man, it was sick. We're just like, yeah, just overfilled. Oh. <sighs> Heavy. <laughs> That had to be like a great moment for him, you oh, know, yeah. performing there in his hometown. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of different being in your hometown, you know, than being somewhere else. Yeah. But a lot more emotions and yeah. stuff going through. Yeah. And, and the people in your hometown, they can they can feel what you're going through or feel what you're saying because yeah. they grew up where you grew up, you yep. know, so it's kind of like the same or in feeling. in general has, has grown, I think, pretty much in, in every area from when we first put the first dates out there. But South America's always been amazing for me and the band. By this point, because we'd had, you know, America, we'd had Europe, South America at this point was just huge. The 
regardless of size, obviously the size makes it fucking amazing as well. But yeah, shoot the shit. these are the yeah, shows yeah, that yeah. when I was looking down the tallest when we were first putting it all together, these are the you ones one that you've, you've kind of got your eye on. They're a different kind of special. There's a different kind of excitement in there. The fan culture is just that little bit more manic in a fucking great way. There's a moment in Kill My Mind and they go up and down with the lights and they create this amazing moment. That dope as hell, I ain't gonna lie. I was watching it and just the number of lights you start fucking out. This is my first solo tour, you know what I mean? I did not think I'd be in these There's kind gotta be of like 99% of the people so yeah. so that's me. crazy. When I'm down in the pit, you can literally feel people, and the energy is literally right on top of you. And it's always one of my favorite parts of the show. But fucking hell, these, these nights that we've done here. It's, it's just taking up a whole new level. The way that I feel is there's just so much excitement in the room. I don't think anyone can explain this. There's a relationship between him and the fans that transcends the music. I don't think you can compare that fan base to anyone. The passion and, and how powerful they are. I mean, the fans come first on the music side for everything for Louis what they do for him and like he says on stage you know you need me i need you it's it is that relationship it, it, it really is he took from 1d the best core of 1d fans and all came to do it. ambitious you're always thinking about the next thing and it means that you don't have time to actually take everything in it's just one of those moments it's night just thinking i'm touring in south america this is my fucking job and, it, and look at the size of the shows that's so crazy I tell you, he got some real ass fans. Oh yeah. Tell me, do you still remember? Local, I don't see. That one moment in the pit, that is the most literal example of the energy at a tour show. Because you feel it. You don't just feel it. People are pulling on your shirt like it's gonna rip. Pulling, trying to pull my ears out. Like that was tonight. <laughs> they were trying to pull my ears out. Fuck it, me please. Um, but honestly, I fuck, I fucking love it. I love oh it. yeah, they live in your shirt. Look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. It's done. Hey, he's still performing like that. He should just go out there with a breakaway shirt. Yeah. So it just comes off and Argentina. completely right when he says it's completely different. Yeah. I mean, the shows here are crazy. Everyone's yeah. really having the best They're time. They're so yeah. dedicated here, oh, yeah. which is the thing. Oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, even the camping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's crazy how they got literally holding them to that. Everywhere, the hotel, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Outside the venue, it's crazy. There's just so many people as well. Yeah. They just it's completely like covered totally the streets. Totally different to what Europe was and what America was I as well. Even in the back, they were having fun. Yeah. This is the this is way different than what he's experienced before. I'm really glad we could experience it 
with him as well, I'd have felt like sad if I didn't get to see an yeah. a a Latin America show as well. Like, it, this is just madness. What a gig, lad. Yes. Fucking hell, man. Oh, man. All right. I mean, there's been time. So we're going to pause it here. I'll tell you what, man. This part was actually pretty fucking cool. I really like this part so far, the way it is and everything. And I really like uh, how he went to like his home city and everything, his hometown, and was able, able to perform there. I thought that was really cool. Uh, like uh, pretty much they said, it's different. Like uh, like going to like the home city and everything. Yeah. Pretty much how you said, you know what I'm saying? You went to like the hometown and performing because uh, just like pretty much how you said, how you said uh, they, he grew up with those people. They pretty much know what like uh, the life is like, you know what I'm saying? That he kind of grew up in and everything like that. I think that's really fucking amazing. Then I'll tell you what, man, when he, he went over to Argentina, they look like some crazy fans there too as well you know what I mean and uh, I'm wondering what those uh, girls are talking about they're like yeah this is going to be crazy for him he's never experienced something like this you know what I mean so not sure uh, maybe we'll get like more into like uh, like Argentina like him performing there and everything and see like how crazy it is there but I really like the way it's going and everything I feel like uh uh, he's doing an amazing job for sure, for sure. and uh, his songs sound amazing. He sounded amazing on stage and everything. I really like the crowd participation and everything. And uh, even when he was like uh, telling everybody like put their flashlights up and down, that was a really fucking crazy moment right there. Uh, but this has been amazing so far. I really enjoyed it. What do you think, John? Yeah, no, that that was awesome to see the fans support him like so much. I believe those girls are the girls that from the one episode that said they they go to the show and then they leave yeah, the show and they, and they fly to the next, next show. One. Yeah. So those girls like go to every show, which is. That's just insane right there. And they're and they're almost like promoting that the other fans there are more fans than they are. Yeah. Yet they fly to like every show. Yeah. So that that's really weird. But yeah, I wonder if they're they're saying like, you know, that he's never experienced it before because I wonder if that's like maybe his first show solo there in, in Argentina. Maybe. And Possibly. you know, maybe he was there with the group, but he's never been there solo. So yeah. maybe that's what they meant. But I tell you what, those fans in Argentina, they're crazy. They're put those guys were literally holding the gates back. Yeah. It looked, it looked it like over. they were struggling with yeah. too. And you know, the fans were ripping his shirt off and he just kept going. He he, you know, embraced them, you know, and understood them that they love him as who he is. And that's really cool. But uh th this was a really cool part here, just seeing how the fans love him, they follow him, and it's almost like they need him, they can't live without him. And that's gotta be a great feeling for him. But this is a really cool part. Yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not part of G2R family, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon.